take off three points in the end, you must be happy with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Star Space definitely a better team at home there in their travels. Um, they showed that today, they, they fought for every ball, they, they worked hard, they were compact, they made it difficult for us and they've got a, a strong laddie up top that's good at holding it in and getting people into the game, so I'm delighted with the win. And of course, the last they were stubborn to break down, it took, a, it took a penalty in the first half to make it the separated two teams at half time basically. And Dino yeah, but I, I, said, I said before the game, it, it, these teams you need to be patient, you don't get yourself too excited, I think we, we looked a bit nervous on the ball, we were, some of our passes were going astray in the first half and uh, I think once we got a goal we settled down but I think we should have maybe hit a couple of penalties in that first half here mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, it was, it's, the second half was better um, we changed a few things and the chances we created we should have won that game more handsome blind like but mm -hmm. um, I'll take a three points See chances and Doimer of course doubled the lead with a first splendid strike great strike very similar to the one he scored against Nairn at Station Park um, well, it was a good strike and he's got a second goal as well. Mm. Yeah, well, his second goal and our third goal. But yep. we should have we should have had more goals for for yeah. me for the amount of play yes. we had and the amount of times we got in behind him. The crosses were hard, and I think we should be punishing yeah. teams more. The amount of chances you'll see, you had he tested their keeper out quite a bit. I think he had a good game. He had a few excellent saves. He had a couple for Joe. Uh, once he done it, head out Dino. Um, he had a couple of great saves and probably kept the score down. To be fair, that and the fact we would missed chances as well. So. Um, neither keeper did well, but mm -hmm. the pleasing thing for me was uh, the, the way we played the second half more so. We looked more relaxed and getting on the ball, creating things, passing, Spider getting on it, Young Jay getting on it, uh, Donny, um, when he got on it, that side, Shawnee would pushed on more, um, and obviously we got Bob in the final third, his delivery was important as well. And the very slight concern at the end with Strass, we got the penalty to make it 2 1, we've only got a couple of minutes to go, but. Yeah, but I mean. It was just about keeping your nerve and uh, keeping the ball after that and I think we should have had a penalty right after I think Dewey Joe's got tripped in the box but you, sometimes you get him, sometimes you don't, you know I got him so we just kept playing and luckily enough Donny got the goal off the, mm -hmm. I think he, the free kick came in, he got ahead of the bar and he's yep. reacted to the first to strike it in. Yep, so that's another win now, we've only got three games left this season for Martin, this Wednesday and then Forest on Saturday, so just be getting wins to try and get high up the table and then start building well, for I, next I, season hopefully. I set, I set a goal for the players uh, prior to these games coming up and I said what I asked of them, so that's one down with three to go and it'll be a very tough game, obviously for Martin they're going for the league but we'll go there without any fear. Um, They've obviously got their agenda, but we've got ours, and I've set the players a goal, so hopefully they can reach that target. Terrific. Brian, 3-1 defeat. How do you give your action? Um, disappointed. I would say disappointed with the result. I think Bucky would probably be worthy of a win. Um, but I'm, the last time we spoke, I was in a real downer after okay. what we were going through. But the guys have turned it around in the last few months. Uh, stand here beaten. Our last home game, but very, very proud of them against a good Bucky team, and I'm, I'm sure the Bucky players and Gary himself would say that we've we've come on leaps and bounds. Yeah, they say you were you only went one 0 down at half time. It was for a, basically a penalty. The difference <laughs> at half time. I disagreed with it being a penalty, to be honest. But uh, you just nuts the blows. You take it on the chin. Uh, but yeah, you know, you boys have got good players. Biscuits, Lewis McKinnon and these guys, you know, Laddie Monroe, as I said before, Spider back in, real good quality. Yeah. So for my guys that have stepped up from the welfare in the junior league to go in and compete against them, absolutely delighted. You must have, you must have been delighted with the second half, so there was more chance, probably potentially more chances for Strasbourg. Yeah, there was. I think we'd more the better of the chances in the second half. The wind spoiled it a wee bit. But you, you know what you're up against. You've got to take your chances against Bucky. You know he's won the league twice in a row. It doesn't it just happen overnight? But we're getting there slowly and surely. And if I could just get a couple of old heads, a couple of experienced boys in, yeah. that'll help the younger ones. I'm finished there just now in the park with two 18-year-olds and a schoolboy on the park playing, you know? So that's the future for us. <laughs> I see. <laughs> He's on the transfer market, by the way. <laughs> No, but I say with a screamer for Bucky's second, then he, they had chances as well. As well, I did. Being oh, I did. Well. Chances went from end to end. Well, he kept us in the game, and the, the laddie main at that end, he had a few good saves. And laddie Monroe comes up, he kind of let him loose in the box, hits it, and then it drops Bucky's feet, and he tucks it away well. So that's just the, the chances you got. But no, from a Strasby point of view, I'm in a better place. The club's in a better place. The players are in a better place than we were. 
four or five months ago. There's a penalty for Strasbourg later on to make it 2 1. You must have thought maybe a chance here, and of course, 3 1 just to ride a death. I hoped we would get something, and we had plenty of time to try and bring something back, but as usual, we just Went to sleep a wee bit, a ball goes up the other end, but we made a spate of substitutes and nobody picked up the big fella Monroe and he stuck it away well. But yeah. having said that, we've, we've fought hard. We're making teams play to win here at Strasbourg now. Uh, we've spent a lot of money in the park rather than on the pitch. I'm hoping that we can maybe bring two or three boys in, not by spending big money, but boys coming in that want to play football. Yeah. Instead of sitting on the bench now only, come and play for us and give us a hand yeah. and we'll move on. But no, I'm, I'm delighted with today's yeah. efforts. I see you. There's been a big change since the gate, since we last played here at home, of course, on the park and off the park. Well, only a couple of weeks ago, you had the club licence you know, audits in here. Mm -hmm. and of course, the ground has changed quite considerably. You've got new fences and floodlights and probably hunting toilet facilities and all that. Mm -hmm. and An excess of £165,000 being spent here that people are not aware of. Right. And I get a wee bit scunnered when I hear folks saying, oh, the team's not coming on. We just have a look around the facilities that yeah. we've done. When we came into the Highland League, we said what we would do and the proof's been in the pudding. We've got our house in order, we're hopefully waiting for our SFA licence. We'll move on. We've got our youths up and coming. Everything's going in the right direction now. We had a, we had a wee bit of clear there a few months ago and the whole thing is looking it's looking good, it's looking rosy and it's looking positive. Hopefully we'll be in the Scottish Cup next season and see you've got the youth development coming on as well. All things are looking good at Strasbourg. Good. I hope we get in. If, if we don't, well, we just take that on the chin and we keep working away. The guys have been here, as we said, to do the audit. A lot of work still to do on the playing side of things. A lot of, uh, we need help as well, the coaches as well, to come in and help the whole thing. But we'll get there. It was never going to be an overnight yep. job. It's a long, long project. And it'll probably be after my time and such like before the real proof's in the pudding. But we'll get there. That's it. Next season, of course, you're going to get a couple more players, as, you, as you've said, and hopefully get more points to the table. Basically. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, we're making progress year in, year out. We've spoke to three or four guys that have experienced high league players that are showing a wee interest in coming here because they know they're maybe not getting a game where they are, but they will get a game in my team. Anybody that signs with us will play football. We didn't assign boys just to stop them going anywhere else. We don't have the money to do that. We've, the money we've got as I say, went into the club, went into the park, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm wanting two or three wee experienced laddies to come in and give us a hand. Cheers, Brian, and all the best. Good on you.